subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Man UK here. Hope everyone's doing well. Previously, we looked at my first worker ants of the Lacius Niger colony, as you can see in the video. We discussed different facts and ways of increasing the lifespan of our first worker ants. If you did miss this episode, just click on the info button in the top right to view the video. Thank you. The last time we looked at the Mesobarberis colony, we looked at my blackhead Mesobarberis colony. But in this video, we're going to be looking at my new redhead Mesobarberis colony. Guys, stay tuned towards the end of the video to see something special happening in this test tube. As you guys can see, my new redhead Mesobarberis colony is doing really well. Lots of first workers and also some adult workers. Looking at them here, there's roughly around 20 worker ants. For those of you who do not know much about the Mesobarberis species, I will provide you with some interesting information. Both redhead and blackhead Mesobarberis queen ant colonies are also known as harvester ants. They can be found throughout southern Europe and parts of North Africa. Did you know that Mesobarberis cause up to 75% of seed losses in northeastern Spain? They are the most common ant species that belong to this part of Spain. If you haven't guessed by now, Mesobarberis collect seeds, break them down into ant bread and consume them. Hence why they are known as harvest rats. They are most quite the pest, I would say, to local farmers in northeastern Spain. Mesobarberias are also known to make big trails. Once a worker has found a food source or seeds, they will notify the entire colony. This is actually quite interesting when you see this in the wild. I have personally experienced this when I was on holiday in Spain. I stood there watching them, bringing back seeds and food along these trails they have made. For unsuccessful trails, however, you will notice that there is very little ants on this trail. There are three different methods for the Mesobarberias to recruit the worker ants to use the trails. The first method is known as the tandem running method. Using chemical and tactile signals, one ant will lead the trail, while the other ants will follow to the target location. This is really good, especially when an ant finds a source of food or seeds. Method number two, the group recruitment method. This works by a group of six to 30 worker ants at a time, will be picked by the other leader ants in the colony. Using motor display to induce following, this is used when ants have found larger items that need carrying and retrieving to bring back to the nest. The third method, known as the mass recruitment method, uses recruitment pheromones, which will be used by a forager ant. They will signal worker ants that it is safe to leave the nest and follow the trail with the strongest signal. Depending on the amount of pheromones will be the trail that is chosen by the worker ants to follow. Mesa Barbarous trails can be anything up to 30 meters long. Now, <laughs> wow, that is like really amazing. That is one long ant highway. They can also remain there for a very long time, even when the ants are not even using the trails. Mesa Barbarous can have a colony size of up to 10,000 worker ants or more. Queens are brown to black in color and can be anywhere from 15 millimeters to 18 millimeters in size. Worker ants are shiny black in color and can be anything from 3 millimeters all the way up to 40 millimeters because they have minor and major worker ants. They love to nest in soil environments 
and especially stand loom environments, usually under rocks, stones and pavements. A fully functional Mesobarbarous colony can live anywhere up to 25 years. Okay guys, now for the cool part in the video that you've been waiting for of something special that I noticed while I was recording the video footage. If you look closely, you can actually see that the Mesobarbarous Queen is sleeping. Yeah, that's right guys, she is actually sleeping. What you are seeing is a queen ant having a good old nap, a good old snooze. Well, I guess she needs it after all the hard work that she goes through. But in fact, queen ants do sleep only for a few seconds to a f like a minute or two. Looking at her now, you would actually think that she is dead. This would panic most ant keepers. But what I will do now for you guys is I will carefully move the test tube just to show you that she will wake up. She is in fact asleep. How amazing is this guys? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Next week I will be starting to make the natural ant setup for the blackhead Mesa Barbarius colony. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. I'm on UK.